Hello, and welcome to the Mike Guinari Podcast. Today is episode number 26. Hope everyone is doing well and had a great weekend as it's Sunday night right now, at least here in New York. Um, today, I want to discuss another Celtic practice with you. It's one of my least favorites, not because I'm against the practice, but physically I am struggle with it because of my... Uh, my bad back, but it's a great practice regardless. It's called Celtic Walking the Rounds. And this was a practice that was also uh, integrated, adopted by the church when they came to Ireland as well. So this Celtic practice involves walking a specific route around a sacred space while reciting prayers or mantras or just meditating or practicing mindfulness. All the different things you can do when you're walking in the rounds. And when I say a sacred place, I'm not saying you have to go to some officially recognized sacred holy land or or whatever like that. Sacred is what's important to you. If it's really important to you, it's sacred. And another time in my life, I'd be walking rounds around Shea Stadium, the old Shea Stadium, but... Uh, I digress from from anything serious there. Um, so, sticker could be a big tree in your backyard or a park, or it could be could be anything. Just what's important to you? Something you could walk kind of a circular path around because that, that circular path is kind of important. So, when you're doing the the rounds, you walk slowly and purposefully while saying your prayers, a mantra, or meditating, or whatever you're doing the point the point and purpose of this is is to clear out all the meaningless chatter in our minds all the things we're worrying about and thinking about and planning for we want to not have that in our minds by focusing deeply and deliberately on something else and being in the present moment so there are a whole bunch of what i feel are mental health benefits to walking the rounds and actually walking the rounds is kind of a, a twofer and you'll see why in a minute. So let me go to my notes so I don't forget any of this laundry list of um, benefits for mental health. So it allows you to slow down from the past. Pa yeah, I can't speak. It allows you to slow down from the fast paced world. Well, that's just a given. If you're not worrying about, hitting traffic or doing this or doing that or what report you have due or how much you have to do. You know, I, I actually, I think I could use Celtic grounds right now. I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I wish I could do it. So that's one benefit. Another one, it gives your body a subtle hint to move out of linear thinking, at least when you're doing the rounds. What do I mean by that? Because we live our lives mostly linear we have a past and then we have the present and then we have a future and it's usually linear right we don't bounce around we don't go to the past and then to the future and and whatnot and that's kind of how we think because of that you know he built the people talking about um thinking out of the box that's a great thing that's kind of like thinking non-linearly so by actually doing this practice Walking in circles, you're kind of using a different shape. You're breaking that that straightness. You're breaking that linear line. It lets you see things from a different perspective. By putting things out of your mind and taking this time of mindfulness, of rest from yourself basically when you, when you come back you might see things from a different perspective there's no guarantee but it does happen it enables you to get out of the routine and forget your expectations so in the morning even though i'm working hard and diligently i'm thinking about all the things i have left to do the rest of the day and it makes me anxious and anxious isn't good mental health as we know so this is a break from worrying about your expectations, what, what you expect of yourself, what others expect of you, what your boss expects of you, 
this is your time. This is your break where there are no expectations. And if you want to say there are, the expectation of you is to focus on something else, to clear your mind, not worry about whatever else it is. So walking the rounds also allows you to step into the known for a short time and a chance gives you a chance to experience and consider the uncomfortable. Because when we go into that meditative state, and if you're lucky, kind of like a trance-like state, you might experience things differently. You might see things differently. It can be scary. It can be uncomfortable. But it helps you grow as a person. Helps you solidify that base of who you are. We know is very important. And it also allows you to be open and receptive to things you haven't considered. You know, we're so wound up in doing what we're doing and a lot of us have our opinions and, and our ways of doing things and don't, for whatever reason, don't take the time to consider other people's perspectives or other ways of doing things. Maybe we don't have time to do it. Maybe we're just that set in our ways. You know, who knows the reason? But it, it gives you that chance. Anytime, I'm going to equate it to, if you have a deep rest, a deep, deep rest, time away from work and from, from the craziness. You know, when you're relaxed and you're good and you're operating at, in prime, prime shape, it gives you the ability to consider different things. Your mind's not going 100 miles an hour. It lets you slow down. And the kicking benefit here that makes it double is the physical health benefits. You're walking and meditating. That helps your physical health. So not only are you doing things for your mental health, Health, you're doing things for your physical health as well. What if I used the example before of uh, doing rounds around Shea Stadium? I do seven rounds around Shea Stadium. That's a decent walk, you know, and a decent time meditating. So you say, Mike, okay, this walk in the round sounds interesting. I might want to try it. Well, what do I do? How do I do it? Well, I'm going to tell you. As I mentioned before, you don't have to find some sort of officially recognized sacred space. You know, you don't have to make a pilgrimage anywhere. Find something you can walk around that's important to you, you know, and preferably something that, you know, the walk isn't like two seconds around, you know, because <laughs> you want to use a little time. When you're walking, you must walk in a sunwise direction. That means if you're in a northern hemisphere, you need to walk clockwise. If you're in a southern hemisphere, you need to walk counterclockwise. When you're walking, you're not walking like the day out in the park. You need to walk in a very deliberate manner with mindfulness, awareness, and reverence. Now, this is a way it's important. This is a way of showing respect to yourself as well as to whatever you happen to believe in. Very important. So when I was doing this, starting this practice to test it out before my back got so bad that I couldn't, I'm like, how many rounds should I do? Should I go around 20 times or what? Well, I found the answer with um, Celtic priest and, and spiritualist Dara Malloy. Dara lives... Uh, on Inishmore in the Aran Islands in Ireland. Um, and he's a very interesting man. He was a Catholic priest who left the priesthood to go live in the Aran Islands and take up Celtic spirituality. It's a great guy, really interesting to talk to. Um, I actually interviewed him a while back. I'll put a link to the video in the description below or wherever it happens to be on your screen. But according to Dara, he says you should do seven rounds. Seven is a very important number to the Celtic culture. And 
if the place you're walking around is not going to get you much in seven rounds, now this isn't from Dara, this is from me, I think it's fine to increase the number of rounds as long as you keep it in multiples of seven. That's my opinion. Um, you know, if, you can't, if seven is nothing, then do 14 or 21, but no, don't do 10. And lastly, a tip from Dara is you don't want to be worrying about counting the rounds as you're going around. So he recommends holding seven something in your hand, seven coins, seven beans, seven peanuts, seven whatever. That way, every time you reach that certain beginning point, put one in your pocket. And that way, you know, when your hand is empty of whatever it is you were carrying, you're done. It's an easy way to not have to worry about counting the rounds. So I think this is a practice you really need to do regularly. Doing it once in a while and won't hurt, but you're not going to get the full benefits of it. There's no way. Mentally or physically. And like I said, unfortunately, I have physical challenges right now with my back, so I just don't do this practice right now because I know if I try to do it on a good day, I'm not going to be able to do it again for however long. But for those of you out there who are healthy and, and, and can walk without problem, give it a shot. Let me know what you think if you do try it. And lastly, once again, tease, tease, tease. If you haven't done so already, please sign up to my email list at mikeguineri.com. The link is down below. It's important because I have some really cool stuff coming down the pike. And I'm probably only going to be describing it and talking about it via email. So you don't want to miss it. So please head over to MikeGuineri.com and join my email list. I promise I won't inundate you with crap. That's not my style. So until the next time, stay well.